Mandla. Yeah. How do I know which one is cousin, which one is son? Uh, the cos graph starts at point two. And the sine graph? Starts at point zero. Okay, so that's another general rule. Let's quickly write up a general rule. Cos graph starts on y-axis but not zero zero sine graph starts at zero zero so as long as there's no shift when we have graphs this here which i've just written up for you very quickly says that the cos graph will start on the y-axis but not zero zero it will not start at zero zero so the cos graph will start somewhere on the y-axis maybe there maybe there but not at zero zero whereas a sine graph will always start at zero zero start at zero zero and go up or start at zero zero and go down so another piece of information which you must know two things we must know so far one we must know that if the period of the graph is 360 degrees start and back to start after 360 degrees the number in front of the x will be one and the second thing we need to know is we need to be able to identify whether it's sine or cos. If it starts at naught naught, it'll be sine. That's why for G, I've indicated sine X. And if it doesn't start at naught naught, starts, it peaks higher up on the Y axis or lower down, just not naught naught, it's going to be a cos graph. Now, Mandla. What am I going to put in front of the cos x or the sin x? What number am I going to put in front? And why? Do you know? Of the cos x. In front of the cos x, what number am I going to put in front of the cos x? If you look at the you equation. Must, you must put 2x. I'm going to put a 2 in front of the cos x. Can you explain why? No, I can't really explain. Okay, it's because if you look at the amplitude of this graph if you look at the amplitude of this graph you will see that the amplitude of the green graph is indicated by that line which I've drawn in and the amplitude of the red graph is indicated by the line I've drawn in there so what is amplitude amplitude is the distance from the x-axis up to the turning point here distance from x-axis to the turning point so if you look at the red graph what's that distance Mandla it's going from it naught it, it goes from naught to negative 2 good which means that distance is 2 and that's yeah. why we put a 2 in front of the cos because the amplitude is 2 are you happy? Yes. Now, based on the same rule, what am I going to put in front of the sign? In front of the sign? Yeah. You're going to put 1. Good, because if we look on the screen, we can see that the amplitude of the green graph goes from 0 to 1 is 1. So we're going to have a 1. And that's it. Okay. That's how I determined the equations of those graphs. So to recap yeah. quickly, if they draw you graphs and they want you to give the equation, you want to have to look at the period. And if the period's 360 degrees, then the number in front of the x is 1. Then you've got to look at the amplitude. Whatever the amplitude is, that's the number that goes in front of the cos or the sine. What else did they ask, Mandla? I must write down the range of f. The range of f. That's quite easy. That's just saying which is the smallest value and which is the biggest value. So which is the biggest, the smallest value, Mandla? Of F. One. Of, F, of F. The red graph. It is, okay. Which is the smallest value? It's oh, of which graph? 
of the red graph? The red graph. Yeah. It is, it is two. The smallest value is? Two. Not two, but? But, okay. Negative two. Negative two, good. And which is the biggest value? Biggest y value? It is? The biggest y value. It is two. Yeah. Do you understand that? Range is always the y value, smallest y value to the biggest y value. I've got square brackets because I'm including those. Do you yes. see? Yes. Okay. Was there another part to that question, Mandla? Okay. Determine the value of P rounded off to one decimal digit. Okay. It, let's d try and do that quickly. It's nice and easy. We see there's a point on the graph, both the okay. green graph and the red graph. The P is the Y value. So we've got y equals sine x. All we're going to do is we're going to substitute the x in. And we're going to work it out on our calculator. You see we've got the x at the point, And we need the y value. So if we know the x and we need the y value, we're just going to substitute it into the equation. y equals sine x. We know what the x is. So replace the x with the number and work out the y. Use your calculator, Mandla. You're going to get 0, comma 9. You just go sine 63, comma 4. Okay, have I helped you, Mandla? Yes. Great. And Mandla, oh, that's all. We've run out of time. I'm sorry. You can phone okay. and we'll help you over the phone. Great. That was Mandla from Bodybang High School in Kruenstadt. He's phoned through with a question involving trig graphs. He presented, he presented a trig graph scenario and the question asked to find equations. Once again a common question. Well that's it from us tonight. Don't leave your seats at home because straight after us you've got um, uh, the science teachers with a uh, science catalyst and uh, it'll be worth your while to stay right where you are if you're a science student. That's it. Don't forget to watch every day Monday to, Friday, Monday to Thursday 5 to 6. Good night.